Hello and welcome to another FearMaps.com tutorial. Uh, today we will um, be learning how to make convex, or sorry, concave polygons and uh, getting them to render properly inside the game and the editor. So let's go ahead and create a new world called uh, Complex Test. So um, for this test, we're going to just make a uh, simple S box shape. Uh, so our shape will kind of be like that. So we got to get into geometry editing mode, which is this button here, or control G on your keyboard. Expand our grid a bit. And uh, I'm just going to make points with spacebar and make the S shape. Okay, so there's our S shape. And from what you can tell, it is very concave. The clipping errors on this are terrible. So uh, to fix this, we're just going to select one point in geometry at any mode, highlight it, and it should turn yellow. Use this viewport down here, or this one, and we're going to hold down the B key and move it. So now that this point is moved up, we can go back to the brush editing mode. Now we're going to hit Control E, and it splits the brush up. Perfect. This would now be able. This brush, sorry, would now um, render properly in beer because it's rendering properly in the editor. Um, you can apply material just like you normally would another brush grid one on it, you can see it. Everything aligns perfectly. Uh, that's all there is to it to creating a complex shape. So, um, now we're going to create, uh, say, a wall with a, a hole. So go ahead and delete that. And uh, always keep in mind, this is your top. Sometimes if you sleepy and you uh, make stuff in the side view, but it's really the top view, and everything's all rotated the wrong way, and it's a lot of work to fix so. Okay, so, we're going to go in this view here, our uh, left view, I'm going to get into brush mode, I'm going to make a uh, wall shape, and right about here we're going to have a hole in it. So, I'm going to start making points with the spacebar button, and then I will tell you what to do next. Okay, so there's our shape. It is concave, as you can see, this angle is greater than 180, so therefore it is concave. Pretty simple to rule to follow, especially when you're making a brush, it's concave. You'll get a, uh, a purple, it turns purple. That is very, well, that's just telling you that it's going to be concave. And not to do that. I think if you go even more, it'll eventually turn red, which is really bad. Um, but we can get past that using that method. So go ahead and delete what I just made. You, you, you guys don't even have to make that because I was just showing you guys. Um, so we're going to put a hole right about here. So let's. First, let's go ahead and make this uh, 3D and have some depth. So let's go into our brush, our geometry editing mode. We're going to set our uh, grid size in our perspective viewport to 
10 centimeters. If you go with 50 to scale it, so I think I know that means we get a toothpick. So this is 1 meter, so it's like 20 people tall there. So what I'm going to do is select this face, and I'm going to use um, Shift W to drag out and outline this shape. I'm going to move these bottom pieces up. I'm also going to rearrange these polygons here as well. Try to keep everything on the grid. It helps. Up. So just to make it things I'll just keep it on the grid. Okay. So there's our uh, little wall, I guess you could say. So now what we got to do to make this points go back. Select each one with hold down control. So once you select all of them, we're going to go in this viewport and we're going to put down the B key and move them to the side. Just like so. Right about there. Back in the brush mode, control B and deselect with U. Now you'll still notice that the inside brush is still con concave, so you're gonna have to go into geometry editing mode again. And we're gonna wait, no, we can't do this yet because we still have to make the hole. So our best bet would just be to delete this face. Press page down. And uh, special cleanup geometry. Where did those faces go? Okay, press F to flip them back. And uh, undo these all. Okay, that's better. Now we can actually see them. So since our hole is going to go here, we're going to outline our hole using geometry at the new mode. We're going to so we'll make it pretty regular. Don't want it perfectly symmetrical because it looks natural. So there's our hole right there. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to now um, fill in this blank space with triangles. And the quickest way to do this would be to do exactly this. Using spacebar, let's make a point here, 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 and follow it all the way back along this line. So we're back at the beginning. So now we're going to select one of these spaces, or pull out, or check. We're going to drag it out brush mode, and then control E, and then we're going to drag it back in. Control D and press E. So, there's everything, um, all nice and neat and organized now. Um, don't worry about these points, as vertex lighting isn't a big problem in fear. So, it's all dynamic, whatever. So, don't worry about that. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to make... Oops. The top of the wall kind of thing here. So, we are going to get into geometry at the mode. Oh. Start making points with space.
those all made, um, I'm going to join them with the shift J. And now in this view here, I'm going to go into geometry at a new mode. I'm going to move our marker up so you can see what we're selecting. And I'm going to move each point in front of the top of the wall. I know it's not a very good wall, it's going to have to do. So, there's your shape almost completely. I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue this. So that's our wall all complete, pretty much. Now we're just going to have to um, copy this face over to this side here. So let's move our marker over to the top corner here, over here. Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to um, mirror the selection over to the left. So now when we go to this side, we have that. So you select that, select these here, this is our little um, sides, move our mark up there, there, control C, control B, and finally we're going to mirror left to right and move this out just like so. So now we have a little um, 3D shape. Let's start moving this piece here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, Shift W key, and we're also going to use Shift and Q to drag this piece in and out and bevel it in and out and do whatever you want. So, let's go into brush it, geometry editing mode. We're going to select this face and hold down Shift W and drag the points in. An easier method here would just be to uh, tag this entire face here by pressing Y. It would, it would catch all the vertices on this face. And we're going to drag this in to make it have kind of like a smooth transition. In. Again, move the bottom to the ground. And you also make the ground. So I'm just going to be quick here and uh, extrude this all the way over from here to here and I'm just going to copy and paste this off this other side here. So using shift and Q, I'm going to extrude this out. So there's that. I'm going to select this. First we have to uh, special clean up geometry so we can select all these faces again. I'm selecting that because I press page now. Now I'm going to go in the brush mode, press control J to split everything apart. Now I'm going to copy these outer bevel pieces over to the other side.
Okay, so um, there's our hole in the wall. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a shape irregular and make the floor also dip down and not be so, so uniform. The easiest method to do this would just be to uh, split lines across here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So for the space bar, space bar, that's the split. Um, it's not closed or it's not convex, so whatever, it doesn't matter. You can do the same here as well. Whatever. I'm just going to do it one more time by shrinking the grid down right in the middle. So now we have a uh, little four shapes in here. We're also going to split one more across. Eh, maybe not. So let's just select all of these and join them with Shift J. Sorry, J freezes, so unfreeze. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get that. So, uh, geometry identity mode, we're going to select this face. We're going to bring it down and in. For detailing, try not to keep it on the grid. Um, easy method to do this would just be to uh, hold down the Shift and B. And you can move points off the grid. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, model or shape this cave the way that I want it. So uh, do it yourself and try to follow what I'm doing. I'm just selecting a vertex and I'm holding down B and shift to move it. So there's our cave shape pretty much completed. Um, also what we're going to do is make two splits along here to make our ground not as uh, flat as well. So we're going to have to piece our unjoin everything with Control J, select only the bottom pieces, Shift J, don't freeze, and we're going to just split along here and here. So join these all again. Shift to J. Geometry identity mode, and we're going to drag some more of these vertices around. So uh, there's our little. Um, hole in the wall with a little detailing on the inside to make it not as uh, straight, flat, and boring. Um, hope this tutorial has showed you guys how to how, how you guys can create um, complex shapes, but still be able to make them quickly inside the editor, as well as making them look and work properly. Thank you. This has been another tutorial from Three Maps.